Hello and welcome to this session in which we would look at the different type of tax structure. There are three common types of tax structure which are progressive, proportional, which is also, you may know it as a flat tax, and regressive. These structures differ in how they impact, how they affect the taxpayer based on their income level. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. Starting with the progressive tax system. How does the progressive tax system work? Well, the progressive tax system works in the way that the more money you make, the more taxes you pay, the higher is your income tax rate. So a progressive tax system applies higher tax rate as income increases. So as your income goes up, your taxes goes up. As your income goes up, you'll pay more taxes. In this system, lower income individuals pay a smaller percentage of their income in comparison to higher income individuals. So if you make more money, your tax rate is higher. You're, you pay a larger percentage of your income. The rationale behind this progressive system is to, re, to redistribute the wealth more equally and alleviate income inequality, and this way you don't put a lot of pressure on low-income individuals. That's the logic behind it. Now, for example, the U.S. system is a progressive tax system. And specifically, the U.S. system has a seven multiple tax bracket. And in 2022, those brackets ranged from 10%, as low as 10%, to a high as 37% for the highest income earners. If you can see on this slide, I do have the tax bracket starting from 10, 12, 22, 24, 32, 35, and 37. Again, this is the 2022 tax bracket. These will change every once in a while. So just know we are dealing with 2022. Just to give you an idea, we're going to work with a single individual, but the same concept, whether you are single, head of a household, married filing jointly, or married filing separately. Starting with a single starting when you make your first dollar up to 10275 you pay 10% 10 on that on these earnings once you exceed 10275 so once you make this additional dollar starting at 2276 when you make this additional dollar above 2775 up until 41775 you will pay 12% so notice as your earnings went up as you exceed 10,275 up to 41,775, your tax rate increased. Now, again, once you make this additional dollar above 41,775, so at 41,776 up until $89,075, you pay 22%. Once again, what are we seeing? We are seeing this as you pay more, as you make more, as your earning goes up, your taxes go up. Again, the same concept. Then it goes from 22 to 24%. The minute you earned one additional dollar above $89,075. So once you earn this additional dollar at $89,076, you'll start to make you'll start to pay 24% up to $170,050. $170, and if we keep going, the highest rate, the highest rate tax bracket is 37. And for a single individual, it starts at $539,901. Each dollar you earn above this amount, the government will take 37%. We call this is your marginal tax rate if you make this much. Now, if you make between 170 51 and 215950 if you make between those, we'll say your marginal rate is 32. Now, in a different session, we'll look at the marginal rate versus the average rate, but just kind of give you an idea. So this is what we mean by a progressive tax structure. The more you make, the more you pay. Now, we also have a proportional tax structure. Again, this is called a flat tax structure. Well, 
it's also known as a flat tax system it applies the same tax rate to all taxpayer regardless of income level so it doesn't matter how much money you make you pay the same percentage which is different than the u.s system this system is simpler for one thing it's simpler just take how much money you make multiplied by a percentage it's simpler than a progressive system as it involves one tax rate it may perceive as less fair but it does not take into account the ability to pay so really you would think well flat flat system is a fair system right why because everyone paying the same percentage well actually it looks fair but in reality we're going to see it's regressive and we're going to see what regressive is but let me just give you an example how it works for first for for example a country with a flat tax rate of 15 percent would require everyone that earns 300,000 to pay 30,000 to pay the same percentage if you earn 30,000 you pay for example 15 percent on that if you pay if you earn 15,000 you pay 15 percent of that and let me show you let me show you how it works so if you take 30,000 times 0.15 you pay 4,500 if we'll take 300,000 times 0.15 you will pay 45,000 you might be saying this is fair they're both paying 15 percent well here's where the unfairness occur or in actuality it's not fair why because a person that's making 30,000 4,500 is a large proportion of their income 4,500 is a large proportion of their income in a sense that someone is making 30,000 if you take 4,500 from them they're going to have they're going to feel poorer versus someone who's making 300,000 or let's assume 3 million for that matter let's go from 300,000 to 3 million to see like to see it clearly if somebody is making a paying 15% based on 3 million they will pay 450,000 this individual can easily afford if somebody's making 3 million they'll pay the 450 and they will not be affected as much as a person that that that's making only 30,000 and paying 4,500 although it's the same percentage but the dollar although also the 3 million is paying more in dollar amount but from an ability to pay perspective the 3 million dollar individual has more ability to pay than the 30,000 this is what we mean by a flat tax system is in actuality it's a regressive system companies like Estonia and many other Eastern European countries few of them they have this flat tax system just so you know how it works let's take a look at a regressive tax structure well a regressive tax structure just you need to learn about it there is no country that uses it the way it works it's like basically the opposite of a progressive a regressive tax system applies lower tax rate as your income increases so as your income increases your tax rate goes down in this system lower individual pay a larger percentage of their income in comparison to higher income individual it's clearly shifting the burden to low income individual and no tax system is a regressive but a flat tax system in actuality is a regressive system okay now for example we do have regressive system but from a from a flat tax system perspective for example sales tax on goods and services are often regressive as the tax amount is the same for everyone same for everyone means proportional means flat a lower income earner who spends a higher proportion of their income on taxable goods will end up paying higher percentage of their income in sales tax compared to a high higher high income earner what does that mean it means an individual that for example again if we're making thirty thousand dollar and this individual will have to spend the twenty thousand dollar in buying goods and services if they're paying twenty if they're paying twenty thousand dollar times ten percent so they have to pay ten percent tax on that well different from an individual who's making three million and they only spend the twenty thousand dollar and they only have to pay 10%. So notice this individual 20% is $2000. So now you're taking your your tax on them, you're taking away $2000 from them. Okay? And you're taking also $2000 from this individual. Why? Because they both purchased $20,000 worth of goods and services. It's fair. Well, it is fair, but the person with 30,000 don't have the ability to pay. So in actuality, it becomes a flat tax system becomes regressive in that sense. In that sense it becomes regressive now what i'm going to do next is work an example to show you how to compute 
taxes, how to compute the taxes using a progressive tax system such as the US tax system, just to show you how we compute how much you have to pay, how to com compute your amount. What should you do now? Whether you are an accounting student, CPA candidate, enrolled agent, you should go to Farhat Lectures, look at additional lectures, MCQs, notes, true false, that's gonna help you learn the material better. Invest in yourself. Take your education seriously. Good luck and study hard.